Greetings and salutations! Welcome to TFI. Apologies in advance if my webcam, like it did just there, starts to glitch the f out. And again, I've just I've just upgraded my audio, the mic, and got a Go XLR and all that. And I think the webcam's getting jealous because it's just losing its mind at the moment. Uh, it's its problem. I ain't got time to look at it. Uh, anyway, Autodesk University, mate. You may remember a couple of months ago I released a video saying, "Hey." It's usually in November in Vegas, big, you know, conference, expo, classrooms and stuff. Well, you yeah, know, plague and all that, you know, human malware. They can't do it this year for obvious reasons. So they're doing it virtually. It's online and it's free. And everyone was happy. Well, it's two weeks away, mate. Autodesk University is in two weeks' time. So I want to drive home a couple of points here. And don't click away yet because I think you're going to, I think you're going to like what you see. So it's two weeks away. It's free to register, takes less than a minute, and there's no commitments whatsoever. You don't, have, you don't have to promise to sit on a sofa at two o'clock in the afternoon on a Tuesday and, and have a web page open or anything like that. You just register, takes less than a minute, and that's it. And I want to show you what you get for that less than a minute of your time. It's so good. It really is. It's This is a winning deal for everyone all around. Uh, and if you're like, oh, what's that you say? What's that you say? Free? It's free? Oh, they're clearly harvesting my data. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm not having that. They're going to sell my data. <laughs> I'm, I'm not entertaining. I'm, I'm not getting into that. You know, <laughs> I'm not interested. Uh, you can untick marketing preferences, maybe. I know they've got sponsors and stuff, but beyond that, uh, not going there. Uh, anyway, let's head on over to Waterdesk's website. Uh, link in the description. This is the AU website. Click that link. That'll get you registered. It takes less than a minute. Put in your details, what your job is, what your role is, all that kind of stuff. And uh, then you'll see a bunch of tabs and stuff like that. You can check out what's in here. It doesn't go live, uh, all the classes and stuff, until November 17th. But you can take a look at or a peek at what's going on. So the, the agenda, for example, there's uh, all the keynotes happening on November the 17th. These are optional. You don't even have to watch these. But if you're working from home, you can just dock it you know, on the side of a monitor. You know, if you've got a monitor, you can just put it to one side and then just... You know, just bit of background noise but 10 o'clock in the morning AEC keynote that's usually a customer from Autodesk one of big big customers comes on stage and talks about how Autodesk products help them and all that kind of stuff uh, design and manufacturing keynote usually uh, Hoop Doggy Dog or Derek Cooper or Greg Fallon or the VPs of the manufacturing products comes on the stage and talks about uh, how they're, they're going, how the manufacturing portfolio is going, so on and so on. I don't know what Andrew Nagnost's keynote speech is. It'll be intertwined in there somewhere. But that's day one. Again, you don't even have to. You, you can just register and not do anything if you want to. It's costing you nothing. There's no obligations here. Uh, the, there's the live answer bar. The answer bar normally is like a big desk in the expo hall where the Autodesk like, go to one of their offices and they just pull people from the from the teams and go right uh you order card guy you're on the answer bar on tuesday yeah, yeah. inventor guy you're on the answer bar on wednesday and then they, they stick them on a desk in the expo hall and then what happens is just over the course of the day just customers randomly walk up to the answer bar and go hey you 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 work on the inventor team do you work on the inventor team uh -huh, cool. Remember, um, <laughs> remember, Inventor. Uh, I've been using it since 1844. Uh, when you had to use uh, a twig to, to to draw a cube, uh, <laughs> they just they get stuff like that. I'm pretty sure they don't, but you know what I mean. But you get you get customers walking up and talking to them and just trying to you know strike up conversations and. Uh, you know, it's a chance to meet the people behind the products that you've used for such a long time. Uh, you can ask them questions, get help, get support. Not not in-depth support, but just, you know, quick-fire kind of questions. Hey, I've always wanted to know this. What's the deal with that? That kind of stuff. So the answer bar is quite cool. Uh, there are going to be Zoom meetings this year. And they'll be first come, first serve. Probably scheduled Zoom meetings. So, yeah, you can yeah, take them or leave them. This is mostly what I'm interested in, though. The 750-plus new on-demand classes. So these are the, the the bulk of what AU is normally all about for most people. In the real world event, it's normally classroom style presentations, big room full of chairs, people sit down, guy on a stage, power, you know, uh, projector, that kind of thing. And this year that can't happen. So instead, they're going to be pre-recorded, hour-long videos 
of what would have been their classroom presentations. But there's also going to be labs, which it will be kind of group of Zoom meetings where the teacher will be there and you can talk over Zoom chat or whatever. Again, first come, first serve. But uh, I want to take you through some of the, the classes because there's so, so many of them. So if you go into sessions, the, the 762 classes, there's so many of them. And you can filter them based on products. So it's not Inventor University. This is everything in the portfolios here, like AutoCAD, all the flavors of AutoCAD through the Fusion 360 and you know, Inventor, Mudbox, Max, Vault, V-Red, everything. Everything's here. This is even showcase here. How funny, how funny would it have been if somebody submitted a showcase class and then no one else were like, but showcase doesn't exist anymore. It does for the next two years. It, it does for the next two years. Ah, oh, we've got to let them have it. That would have been awesome. But no, no showcase classes. Uh, but yeah, you go right. I want to see all the classes that are related to Inventor. Uh, pick your language. And then topic. So this is where like whoever creates the class has to like tell Autodesk what the class is roughly about based on like filters. So when people are looking for classes, they can filter them down. Is it drawing related? Is it CAD standards related? Sheet metal, FEA, or you know that kind of stuff, data management, blah, blah, blah. So we've got design. And then here's all the classes that you could potentially turn up to. And you can maybe kind of now see the problem that you've got in the physical event because it's, th it's three days, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, that the classes are on and you've only got four slots, I think, four or five slots in a day to attend classes. How do you pick? How do you pick from like 79 inventor classes when you've only when you can only go to four classes in one day, and then what if you want to go to a, a V Red or a Vault class as well, or an AutoCAD class? There's so much to choose from, and you just don't have. This just isn't the time of the day. But this is all. And it's free. You can just binge watch all of these, mate. It's mint. All right. So let's take a look at some of them. To just grab some of these at random. Automate Inventor by Engineering with Generative Design. Alessandro Gasso, mate. I, I don't know if you remember. Interviewed Alessandro on the channel last year as part of the Inventor's 20th anniversary. Uh, so I did the interviews leading up to AU 2019, interviewing a bunch of people who did classes for AU last year. And Alessandro was one of the guys that he interviewed. Uh, James O'Flaherty, all in the details, tips and tricks for detailed drawings in Inventor. James has got quite a few classes on this year. I don't know how he does it. Uh, we've got uh, Use AutoCAD and Inventor with Pro Model Simulation. We've got uh, Inventor Fusion 360 or AutoCAD. You don't have to choose uh, from Luke. Luke's one of the... So this is a the classes are from a mixture of both Autodesk staff and customers. So for example, James, who I just mentioned before, is a customer. He's just a regular user like us. And then the likes of Luke is Autodesk staff. He's on the technical marketing team. And Dave Wilkinson, he's uh, on the technical sales team, I think. Product design, manufacturing, collection, Autodesk digital strategy. So... The ones I believe that have got a time and a date, these are the ones where I think you might have to sign up to and they're on at a fixed time. But you should be able to watch them afterwards, uh, which is always a good thing. I want it my way, customizing the Inventor Content Center. I want to say there's so much choice. This is such a variety of stuff and so many different levels you can go in at. So I think based on some feedback that I've read across my videos, I think some people are a bit afraid of Autodesk University because they're like, I don't feel like, I'm experienced enough or I've been around the products long enough to um to get involved with this sort of stuff. You know, I think I need to be, I don't feel part of the crowd, you know, but there's basic classes in here. There's classes aimed at the basics and then there's classes aimed at advanced. So like, for example, here's Leo. Leo's a channel viewer. He watches, you probably end up having a comment down below. Uh, inventor, a beginner's guide as fast as possible. So there are classes for people who are at the absolute starting point of their product journey ranging all the way through to people who are at the top end of their product journey. But even, even the people who are at the top end, the classes still aren't, it's not like a, an elite club. Do you know what I mean? Or else, you know, everyone who's at a certain level who knows as much as they're probably ever going to know won't need classes. So there's always a place for most people on these classes. Inventor nesting isn't just for sheet metal. Um, but yeah, that's, sorry, Leo's class, Inventor, Beginner's Guide. So do you want to learn to use 3D CAD software? Do you have a 3D printer and want to start designing your own prints? So this, this is a good description for all of the classes. You can check those out and then decide whether or not you want to binge watch them a little bit later on. Looking into the crystal ball, the future of inventor, Garen Gardner. Garen's one of the product managers um, who I interviewed again on the channel last year. Garen and Lauren Welsh. Lauren's moved on to a different team. 
but Karen's now doing the future of Inventor. These classes are what's going on in the future. Where's Inventor going? What are they working on? What Where's the product headed? In which direction? That kind of stuff. So yeah, there's all kinds of stuff, mate. It's Take your pick. Just have a good scroll through it, and then you can... I, I would imagine down, you can either download them or stream them whenever you're ready to to just you know sit down and, and binge watch them. Uh, oh, YouTube! Getting past YouTube responsive tutorials drive better skill building. Marty Jacobson studies show that watching someone perform a task doesn't really teach students how to do what. <laughs> What? Stu- studies show that watching someone perf- this getting past getting past YouTube studies show that watching someone perform a task doesn't really teach students how to do it. In fact, it often gives a false sense of confidence in one's ability to perform a task. I'm sorry. What are you? What are you talking about? What is this guy on about? Am I reading this right? Am I going to have to retake this video, or is this? Am I reading this wrong? Studies show that watching someone perform a task doesn't really teach students how to do it that's the that's the basis of autodesk university mate we're watching people do tasks and then learning from it that's the, what, what are you talking about where are you going with this where's this going i'm quite curious uh, this talk will outline a proven highly effective process that is in use at georgia institute of technology oh you joe no 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 to teach professional level software certificate you gotta be joking why is this here? This should not be allowed. This this should not be allowed at Autodesk University. There's no place for this. I need to read this one more time. Uh, studies show that watching someone perform a task doesn't really teach students how to do it. Objectively, mate, you're talking <laughs> absolute nonsense. You're a douche. That's an abs- That's a lie. That is an absolute lie. You're lying. I'm, I'm a living, breathing example of how that is an absolute lie. Uh, there's 60,000 people subscribed to my channel who would aggressively disagree with you what you're saying there. Uh, you can watch somebody perform a task and learn from it. Humans have evolved that way. Animals evolved that way. Where you go, what are you talking about? This talk will outline a proven highly effective process that is in use at Georgia Institute of Technology to teach professional level software. Do you know what this is? This is absolutely horrendous. This sounds like Georgia Institute of Technology have, have had a meeting or something and they've went, right, how do we increase the influx of students and enrollments at our college there's so much information on youtube hi i've got quite a lot if students can just learn all they need on youtube and how how do we get people to come to our college oh i know let's lie and say that watching a youtube tutorial is factually based on a study shows that it doesn't teach you how to do anything (laughs) don't watch the youtube tutorials they don't work come to our college instead and that's okay if it's a TV commercial or a radio commercial you're putting that absolute nonsensical lie out in. But to do a class at Autodesk University projecting that message, this is not acceptable at Autodesk University. This is not okay. And I'm not being precious about my tutorial. I'm, I'm done with the tutorials. Like, I'm past them. Like, that's, a, that's history for me. Like, it's not something I'm precious over. But you're also, like, I know you've titled it Getting Past YouTube, but you're... Study, what studies are you talking about here, mate? Wait, what, what studies? My channel is a big, quite a big study to show that actually quite a few people have watched YouTube and learned quite a bit. I have learned Autodesk V-Red from watching YouTube videos. I'm calling you a liar. You are lying. Yes, you can learn from watching YouTube videos very effectively. Okay, let's just finish this up by saying, I agree, a classroom environment where you have a teacher and a pupil is much more effective than someone sat alone watching a video. But that video, it's not as black and white as that. If that video is done by somebody who is an exceptionally good communicator, the video is very well structured, very well presented, then that video can be very effective. Conversely, if that classroom presenter, if that teacher is an absolute douche, if he's got no social skills, if he's unable to communicate, if he barely speaks a word of English, if he's got no patience, put them two together, that YouTube video would actually be far more effective at teaching somebody how to do something than that teacher would be. I've had many, many experiences where people have went into a classroom environment and they've walked away having learned nothing because of a bad teacher. So that is objectively a lie. 
And from my point of view, from what I'm seeing, this looks nothing more like a sales tactic to try and drive enrollments towards the Georgia Institute of Technology. So I've just spotted this in editing, obviously, hence the, the different look going on. I was reading the paragraph again, the description for this class once more, just to make sure that I'm not kind of getting it wrong here. Am I like understanding this wrong? And I just absorbed in one of the next lines, which I didn't really absorb when I was recording the video, but this just reaffirms that this is nothing more than a sales class. That's it's nothing more than propaganda, which is it's absolutely on the entire learning industry for the benefit of Georgia Institute of Technology. Listen to this. The Georgia Institute of Technology has a remote teaching strategy, and it's a remote teaching strategy that is more effective than many in-person teaching strategies. <laughs> what are you talking about? They, they're they wanting to get a classroom full of people or a, a Zoom meeting full of people, and they're wanting to brainwash them into believing that Georgia's Institute of Technology has some magical remote teaching program that's better than any remote or any in-person classroom experience that's ever gone before it. <laughs> what are they talking about? And, and by the way, YouTube videos don't work. You can't learn from them. And there's no ambiguity there either. It, uh, this, this is not to be interpreted in any other way. This, this, there is no ambiguity here. Studies show that watching someone perform a task doesn't work. It doesn't really teach students how to do it and gives a false sense of confidence. How is this allowed at Autodesk University? This is not okay. <laughs> it's not okay. I'm going to leave it there before I say something worse than I've already said, but not okay. Anyway, mixture of classes. <laughs> some good, some absolutely horrendous. <sighs> wow. Watching someone do something <laughs> is not... What studies? <laughs> oh my God. Oh, wow. Right. Yeah. So get signed up, mate. It takes less than a minute. Uh, filter away all the garbage and you'll find some really good classes in there. there. I mean, someone, like I said, before I found that, there is some really, really good speakers in here. The, the absolute bulk of, of presenters are exceptional. So yeah, that's uh, that's it. It's happening in two weeks time, Autodesk University. Get registered. Like I say, you don't have to do anything. You don't have to commit. You just get registered. I believe even after the event's finished, you will still be able to sign in your Autodesk University account and then binge watch the videos even after the event's done. So there you go. Links are in the description. Thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next one.